When a student has a hearing loss, a speech language pathologist or teacher of the deaf is usually responsible for developing IEP goals. At CID, we hear from many professionals looking for advice on how to approach this important task. This course shares practices that can help you write more effective IEP goals for language, speech, and auditory development. First, we'll review a recommended process for developing IEP goals. Which of these items should be included in the description of a student's present levels? Drag each item that applies to the box. Drag items that don't apply to the trash. Click Next when you're finished. Then we'll discuss how to apply the SMART criteria to goals for students. A specific IEP goal for a student with hearing loss addresses particular skills in one of the areas of language, speech, and auditory development. A specific goal includes the action, the environment, and the context. This example goal includes all three elements that make a goal specific. When you're finished reading the example, click Next to continue. Finally, we'll explore specific ways to write goals in the areas of language, speech, and auditory development. We'll share examples of goals and benchmarks in each area. Uh oh. What happened? It fell down. It fell down. Oh, you want me to staple? Staple. Okay, I can staple I it. Staple I'm going to use a paper clip. Paper clip. Yeah! The conversational competency goal and corresponding benchmarks should be related to the student's age-appropriate ability to initiate, maintain, and end conversations as well as the ability to increase the number of conversational turns.